So we now place ourselves in the loving presence of God as we ask the intercessions of Saints Joachim and Anne. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and of the, the Holy the Spirit. Son of the Amen. Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. We invoke the Holy Spirit to be upon each one of us as we gather together in this platform given to us by the Lord in the Zoom, accompanying us to reflect, to share, as well as to discern the plan of God in the models of Saints Joachim and Anne. We pray for grandparents, for parents as well, that they may continue the mission that is entrusted to them. And for the moment, let us open our hearts and minds to welcome the good news of the Lord. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 16 to 17. Glory to, Glory Glory to, you, to you, O Lord. Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Blessed are your eyes because they see, and your ears because they hear. Amen, I say to you, many prophets and righteous people long to see what you see, but, I, but did not see it. And to hear what you hear, but did not hear it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, o Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. So the Lord be with you. Good evening and good morning. Good evening, Father. Good evening, Father. We celebrate the memorial of Saints Joachim and Anne, the parents of Mary, of course. And today my sharing was very simple. It is centered with this one phrase. We are blessed to be the family of Jesus. If Jesus is our brother, so Mary is our mother as well. And so Saints Anne and Joachim are our parents. To just rephrase some, I was telling the story earlier about Saints Joachim and Anne that they were married. They have good family. But the only thing is another than Saint, uh, Saint Joachim was not fertile. So he was sterile. He could not bore a son for Anne. And even with regards to that, Anne, she kept on praying to have a child. And she said that once they will be given the grace, they will offer the child to the Lord for the service of the Lord. So Saint Joachim, since he was sterile, he was not even accepted to offer sacrifices in the temple. So much so that he left the center in order just to go to the periphery to continue the work. But they have seen a vision there was the annunciation, sort of annunciation for them that they will be bearing a son. And that indeed Mary came after months from the good news that had been given to them. And Mary is known as the word meaning, which means the love of God. So God loves truly Anne and Joachim to give Mary so much so that that is their blessing. The unfortunate thing is that other than when Mary was born, so St. Joachim died. And then, of course, as the story would say, St. Anne remarried so much so that she had other children that uh, at times in the gospel, it can be said to Jesus, your brothers and sisters are here or your brothers are here. But Jesus had given a beautiful mandate of who is my brother, who is my sister, but those who are listening to the words of God. So practically, he cascaded up what is the family from the very biological one to the family of God born out of faith. And so today we celebrate this feast. But uh, in the language of the world today, or Sunday yesterday, this is also the day of the grandparents for, jo for Joachim and Anne are proclaimed as the patrons of the, God, of the grandparents. So sa mga lolo at lola dyan, so happy grandparents to all of you. So parang lahat kayo, no? <laughs> Merong mga apo. But of course, on the other hand, St. Anne was also proclaimed as the patroness for the pregnant women, patroness for a safe delivery or safe birth, <laughs> and patroness for sufficient milk. So those are still the titles given to her by the church. But going back, I proclaim that we are so blessed in the Lord Jesus to be the family of Jesus. Why? Because in our time, we witness where Jesus is and who Jesus is. We have seen him in our eyes or with our eyes. We have heard him with our ears in the proclamation of the word that is being given to us. 
so much so that again we say when we proclaim the word, the Lord becomes alive to us. In the Eucharist that we have received, that's our blessing. We see our brother, we see our Lord, we see Jesus Christ who was born of Mary from the parents Anne and Joachim. So much so that the gospel would say, blessed are the ears who hear, blessed are the eyes who see. And this is our blessing. This is what we are proclaiming in our life. We have seen the Lord. But above all, when we see it, the language of the liturgy, we see Christ as well in the persons of each other, in the faces of each other. So that so when our faith is strong enough, we see Jesus everywhere, especially in the faces of our brothers and sisters, even those whom we do not like, but especially the poor as well as those who are in need. Suffice to say, we see him in the word, liturgy of the word, in the Eucharist as well as in the priest. And this was the longing of the prophets, the longing of those who have come before us, even the righteous people, they were not able to witness at one. So our blessing is another than we see this today because of the love of God. So much so that we are the most privileged people. We are the most people who had seen the wonders of Christ, not only privileged, though not worthy, but people who had been given the grace as well as the gift that we have to treasure. So we are all blessed because we are in the family of the Lord. Added to that, in my reflection today, I say, Saints Joachim and Anne gave us a wonderful way of seeing the sacredness of marriage amidst their predicaments. Imagine Joachim is sterile. They could not have a son, but you know they surrendered everything to the Lord. At the end of surrendering to the Lord, gave them a beautiful gift, none other than Mary. They did not surrender each other. They did not surrender their marriage, but rather they kept on hanging because marriage is sacred. And from marriage that is sacred, we see the wonders of parents. Parenthood is a wonder. Parenthood is a miracle worker. Parenthood is a wonderful blessing. That's why we salute you parents, mothers and fathers, for the vocation that you have. And we can only be grateful to you. And lastly, grandparents are as well greatness, are great people, the greatness of grandparents. So when you become grandparents, you are great as well in the eyes of God. And that we can only pray for grandparents that they may continue with fidelity the mission that has been entrusted to them. And this is our blessing. This is our proclamation. And this is our prayer as well. Amen. Amen. Lord Jesus, thank you so much. Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus, thank you so, so much. For in you, we found our brother. For in, in you, we found, we found our, our, brother. our brother. In you, we found Mary as our mother. In you, we found Mary as our mother. Our mother. In you, we have Joachim and Anne as our grandparents. In you, we have Joachim and Anne as our grandparents. We are blessed indeed. We are, we are blessed to belong to your family. To belong to your family. And we recognize the sacredness of marriage. And we recognize the sacredness of marriage. The wonders of parenthood. The wonders of parenthood. And the greatness of being grandparents. And the greatness of being grandparents. Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus, we are so blessed and privileged. We are so blessed and privileged. Though unworthy. Though unworthy. To see you and hear you. To see you and hear you. To touch you and behold you. To touch you and behold you. To listen to you. To listen to you. And to see and admire your greatness. And to see and admire your greatness. When the word is proclaimed to us. When the word is proclaimed to us. When we celebrate the Eucharist and the sacraments. When we celebrate the Eucharist and the sacraments. When we receive communion. When we receive communion. Truly you are present, O Lord. Truly you are present, O Lord. You are alive. You are, you are alive. And proclaim you as our God and Savior. 
and bless our families, O oh Lord. Bless, bless our, our families, families O oh Lord. Lord. Especially families that are struggling. Especially, especially families, families that are struggling. And we thank you, O oh Lord, for the choice you have given. We thank you, O Lord, for the choice you have given to our families. <laughs> to our, to families. our families. Make us your sons and daughters. Make, Make us your sons, sons and daughters. To unite our families. To unite our families. As your mission and gift to us. As your mission and gift to us. Amen. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, 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 Mother, Mother of God, of God, 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 pray for us, you know, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Saint Michael, the Archangel, pray for, pray us. for us. Saint Raphael, the Healer, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Gabriel, pray, pray for us. us. Saint Augustine. Pray for us. Saint Anthony. Pray for us. Saints Joachim and Anne. Pray for us. Saint Hannibal. Pray for us. Saint the Lord. Holy Apostles in the Church. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Amen. Uh, good evening. Thank good you. Good evening, Father. Father. Thank you. Happy Grandparents Father. Day. <laughs> what Thank time? you. Thank you, Father. <laughs> wow. Thank you. Thank you for the prayer. Very nice. Thank Welcome. You, Father. Thank you so Thank you Welcome. So much, it's your day, grandparents. The <laughs> <laughs> father, you, Father, Father. Danny. <laughs> was, Father Danny was my was the nanny of my first grandson. <laughs> Oh, uh, yes, oh, si Mikey. So blessed. Oh, Mikey. <laughs> Galing ni Father, okay. pinapatulog niya, tapos pasayaw-sayaw ko si Father. <laughs> <laughs> Siyempre, the art of Anani. <laughs> I have to do the role. Kakit ng mga bata. <laughs> so, privilege moment. Privilege, Tita. Privilege moment to mm -hmm. nakargahin mo sila, to, to be with oh, them. Yeah. Embrace them while, while, while yes. you can because when they grow up, it's gonna be different. Oh. Maglagay nila, hindi mo na makarga-karga. Ah, mabig, mas mabigat pa. <laughs> ang amoy nila is iba na, hindi na amoy baby. <laughs> bigat. Ang bigat na ni Mikey. Oh, oh, my boy, no. I cannot carry you. You carry me. <laughs> <laughs> Happy grandparents day. Father. God bless. Thank you. Love you all. Welcome. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you, Father. The Gospel according to Matthew, chapter 13, verses 31 to 35. Jesus proposed a parable to the crowds. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that the person took and sowed in a field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, yet when full grown, it is the big, largest of plants. It becomes a large bush and the birds of the sky come and dwell in its branches. He spoke to them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like keys that a woman took and mixed with three measures of wheat flour until the whole batch was given. All these things Jesus spoke to the crowds in parables. He spoke to them only in parables to fulfill what had been said through the prophet. I will open my mouth in parables. I will announce what has slain hate hidden from the foundation of the world. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, to Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. I'd like to say my opening prayer. Lord Jesus, grant me the grace to recognize the kingdom present in mystery and participate in the building of your kingdom here on earth. The gospel 
as we encountered Christ in this gospel, the first topic of praise is the hidden. Some hidden from the Father. I speak of one of the most profound mysteries of God's plan. To grasp it, we must consider the beginning in the book of Genesis through the sacrifice of the cross in the gospel and onto the book of Revelation. So from Genesis up to Revelation, that's the entire Holy Scripture. God desired to create man in his image. So think about it. You are made out of the image of God. And that is to give a gift to himself in an intimate relationship to the summit of his creation, the human person. Or correction. Tita Belinda, Tita Annabelle, Tita Pippin, Tita Linda, Tita MJ, and Tita Becky. You are made in an image and likeness to God. But God's gift of friendship was rejected by the human being earlier than us. And some of our some of our friends and neighbors has rejected God's friend gift of friendship. But God's French gift of friendship again is quite something I cannot think of. Why did we reject that friendship? The Lord's sovereign reign where all good things will be given in. And through him, we cast away. We don't want it. Why? What did the father do when the human freedom preparing the way to establish his reign and invite us to enter his presence, his kingdom once again? The key was his son, Jesus Christ. We enter the kingdom through the heart of Christ, a heart that suffered and died to expiate our sins and enable us to enter into a relationship with God once again. The mystery of the kingdom present in Christ's body, a sacrament, is already present, yet is still being fulfilled until the end of times. The second topic, which seems to be the main, the, the main point of the parable is the mustard seed and the yeast. I'm sure you are familiar with these two material things. But Jesus utilizes these powerful images to give us a clue about the kingdom of heaven. He likened it to a powerful, too powerful image to give us a clue about what the kingdom of heaven. First, he likened it into a mustard seed. Second, into a yeast. A mustard seed are the finest of all seeds and just a particle you put it in your hand and can easily be swept away by a current wind. but in its humble its great potential a mustard seed grows into the largest of plants a little bit of yeast goes a long way in leavening the bread 
allowing it to expand and provide sustenance to many. So it is with the kingdom of God. In humility, Jesus brought about the greatest acts of salvation. His kingdom grows in an unseen ways. Wherever his grace is, all it takes is a small and humble act of faith to allow God to plant and grow the kingdom within. I'm sure our dear doctors here, you're familiar about the yeast in your microbiology. Correct, Tita Bell? You get microbiology. Yes. Yeah. So, and you must be cooking too. And so you have a yeast. Can you see the yeast? If it is only one piece of yeast, definitely not. It's only yeah. through microscope, right? Yeah. Also, I'm supposed to be another branch of engineering but when i joined the company of beer i learned a lot of about yeast and i got my microbiology studies there you just notice that one small piece of yeast and you put it into a cook um barley or uh, germinated barley, which is now called malt, with rice, and it becomes a brew. And you put and you place the, your yeast, very small amount of yeast, in a fermentation tank. And bam, bingo, you got a good tasting beer and a very nice, sweet aroma of a beer. Sorry, we're beer drink drinkers. <laughs> <laughs> but again, that yeast is very small when you started it. And we did when it did its job, they become so many. And so we have to clean them up, put them, get ready to another to another production. Same as the mustard seed. They're very small and they grow so large. So the next point of the gospel is the branches and the leaven. As we allow ourselves to be converted and further evangelized by the Lord, we grow in friendship with him. His life becomes our life. He permits and makes our lives bear fruit of, for his kingdom. So we become the branch and the leaven in the dough. As we participate in the sacramental life of Jesus Christ, the present and the hidden in mystery. So let us ask Jesus' life to grow in us so that we may also be his humble and worthy disciples. That worthy disciples. So I start asking myself, are you the disciple of Christ? Please raise your hands and acknowledge. Raise your hands, please. I can see you from here. There you go. Tita Annabelle, you didn't raise your hands. Tita <laughs> Linda. <laughs> so, in order to do that, as a worthy disciple of Christ, and bring many people to discover that the treasure of faith we have just begun to uncover, At this point, let us talk to Jesus and say, Jesus, I believe in you, that Jesus. you are present. 
that you are present you in are our present. most holy sacraments. And wherever your grace abounds, grant that I may seek you out, welcome you and leave according to your heart, humble and hidden, ready to sacrifice out of love for others. Lord, this is our resolution. Lord, Lord this is our resolution. To, today, by your grace, Lord, we, will by recognize we will recognize that in my littleness, that in my littleness the Lord can do great things. The Lord can do great things. If I remaining united to him, if I remain united to him, in prayer and grace, in prayer and grace, I will, ref I will reflect on how to protect. I will reflect on how to protect my life of grace daily. My life of grace daily. Amen. 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 Now we would like to ask Tita Linda for the three pointers. Tita Linda. Yes. The three pointers for today's gospel are the following. Number one, the two parables teach us that despite the outside appearances of the mustard seed and the yeast, their effects can still be <clears throat> surprisingly great. Number two, we should therefore not underestimate our abilities when we serve God's people. God's power can transform our human efforts into divine proportions. Number three, thus today's gospel teaches us to rely more on God than our own human effort to get things done. God is always waiting to empower us if we only seek his help. Are we seeking his help? Amen. 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 Was I clear? Yes. Yes, Tita. Yes. Two. The name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Dear Lord, we come before you now, praising and giving you glory, acknowledging your greatness and your love. On bended knees, we ask forgiveness for all the sins and offenses that we have done all these years, all these days, when you are so good to us. Thank you for your love and your mercy at all times, especially in the most challenging moments of our lives. We pray that your word tonight will stay in our minds and hearts. May we cultivate them and put it into practice in our daily Christian life, serving you and serving our fellow men. Amen. 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 In the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And so good night and good morning. Good night. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.